Hey, what's up friends, family support team? Uh, how's everybody doing? Um, hope you're doing well. It's been, I think September was the last update I sent. Uh, and there has been a lot going on in the Howard household. Um, I think first thing that kind of kicked off since the last time I spoke to you uh, was seminary. Uh, my seminary classes have started and are now I'm over halfway through. Um, I'm doing really well. Um, wrote a paper that I got 100% on. Uh, was able to memorize and recite the Nicene Creed from memory, which took like four full 24 hour days to memorize. Um, it was not easy. And I don't even remember reciting it. I had to recite it to the professor over Zoom, which was weird and intimidating. And I think I flew through it. And I don't remember, I could have said just about anything, but I got 20 out of 20 on it. So I must have, must have nailed it. Um, just took my midterm recently that I did well on. So I'm doing really well in the class. I have one final left to go and uh, then I'm done with my first set of classes for seminary. So it's been a whirlwind, it's been crazy. Um, but then the other great news, you throw this into the mix and it gets even crazier, our daughter was born. Um, Quinn Esther Howard uh, was born on October 20th, 10, 20, 2020 at 8.20 in the morning. So easy to remember, lots of 20s. Um, but that, that stretch of days is a, as a, as a period of time where we celebrate birthdays, uh, apparently in our home and in our family. Uh, my little brother, Owen, uh, my youngest brother, is was his birthday is October 19th. Um, Andrea, uh, her birthday is October 20th, or I'm sorry, 21st. And Quinn just decided to split the difference and come on the 20th. So we got the 19th, 20th, and 21st. And here I am thinking my my brother Austin and I, you know, my birthday is December 2nd. His is the 3rd. I'm thinking, all right, yeah, we got this cool thing going, you know, December 2nd, 3rd, you know, that's a cool thing, cool bond we got. Now Quinn literally splits a birthday with her uncle and her mom. And so we got three birthdays in a row, which is pretty wild. So it's going to be a fairly expensive time of year. Um but uh, we're just so happy she's here. Um, it couldn't have been more different from Bennett's birth and Bennett's arrival, um, but everybody was uh, safe and healthy and uh, Andrea's recovering great. Quinn is super healthy. She's eating, she's sleeping, she's doing all the things that babies do. So uh, Bennett loves her. Bennett has adjusted great. Uh, he gives her hugs and kisses all the time. In fact, we kind of have to pull him back and say, whoa, like, cool it, like, be gentle. Um, but he, he loves his little sister and uh, we're doing great. And we're just tr still trying to figure out, all right, now sleeping. Oh yeah, we got a burper. Like we're trying, we're relearning this whole being parents to infant thing. So um, everything's going great. Everything's, um, everybody's doing well. So thanks for your prayers. Thank you for your support. Um, uh, we've had a really, really strong network of people here taking care of us. And we're super grateful for that. Uh, my parents came out for, for pretty much a week and, and helped us out. Andrea's parents have been coming up and down from Pennsylvania. And then, uh, you know, we've also had our church network and our church family here sending us uh, Grubhub gift cards and bringing us home cooked meals. And so we've really felt taken care of and loved uh, through this time. So thank you um, for those of you that have been helping us. Uh, for those of you that are praying for us, thank you so much uh, for your prayers. Uh, we, feel, we feel them uh, in this time. So we're grateful. Uh, student ministry stuff. Quick updates, uh, try and keep this short and sweet. Uh, middle of October, I don't remember the date because nobody remembers dates anymore. Um, it's a pandemic, A, and every day is just Groundhog Day where you live in the day before. And then B, you throw an infant into the mix and then that even blurs the lines just that much more. So I uh, don't remember the date. I think it was like the 14th or something like that. Uh, we went to Butler's Orchard, which is a like a pumpkin farm up in northern Montgomery County. Um, I would not be true a true Michigander at heart if I did not go to a pumpkin or app, pumpkin farmer apple orchard in the fall. My Michigander card would be revoked, and we cannot have that. So uh, we went to Butler's Orchard, as I said. Uh, we had twelve kids come out, which is great. We were averaging four to six kids um, on our Zoom calls and our Bible studies. So to double that and have twelve kids come out, we had two brand new kids come for the first time uh, to an event, which was awesome and uh great to see how god is continuing to use the evangelistic tendencies of our students to to bring people into our to our ministry and that uh, we can continue to disciple these kids and whether it's one or whether it's 12 or whether it's 50 um 
you know, we know and we've just been affirmed that our calling is to disciple and to teach these kids um, how to live and how to uh, follow Jesus. And so uh, it was a huge success. Like I said, 12 kids came out, two brand new kids, um, you know, whether it was sprinting through the corn maze where I lost my breath, um, getting plastic burns, going down the slides, smashing apple cinnamon donuts, um, playing hide and seek in some of the other corn maze things. Uh, don't know what they're called, but I'm pretty sure they're called corn maze things. Um, you know, we had a blast. The kids had a blast. And, um, you know, I, I'm pretty sure the parents were, were happy to have a Friday night of, of child care. Child care. Um, but regardless, we took that as the opportunity to continue to build relationships with the students and to, um, you know, just to have a good time. So it was good to be together. I think the kids really more, just more than anything, love to to get together and to be together in person. Some of them play baseball together. But uh, a lot of them don't. And so it was good to have all 12 people, all 12 students in the same area and, and building camaraderie and continuing to gel our group together. Um, series wise, we finished up our Fruit of the Spirit series um, after we Andrew, after Andrew and I finished kind of taking this time to, to recalibrate and adjust and figure out. All right, what's life with two kids look like? All right, we can't play zone anymore. Now we got to play man to man. You know, I'm I got Quinn, you got Bennett, etc. We're figuring all this stuff out. Once we kind of figure all that out, we're gonna dive into an Advent series. Uh, so we're really excited about that. And um, you know, most of the kids know about Christmas, obviously, and uh, know what it means and kind of what it represents. But just that this the, this month ahead of Christmas, where we are in this dark and in this waiting and in this anticipation of of the coming of the Christ child. And so kind of explaining what Advent means to them and what are the things that we can look for in this time and what are things that we can uh, look to uh, to show us the, the coming of Christ. And so um, pray for us as we prepare that series. We're starting to dive into that and figure all that out. That'll be starting the first week of December. Another thing to be praying for is um, planning. Uh, 2021 is coming um, in a month and a half, and uh, I don't know about you, you, you guys, wherever you're watching this from. I know here in Montgomery County and in Maryland, cases are spiking uh, with COVID and coronavirus. So um, just pray for planning. Uh, pray for uh, a lot of the things that we're trying to do. We wanted to do our first retreat. We wanted to do like an overnight somewhere or a, a day ski trip and really just continue to foster the, the gelling of this group and uh, kick off small groups from that. Um, obviously, with cases spiking, now we have to be very, very vigilant and very um, intentional about gatherings and what we're doing and keeping kids and families safe. Um, so pray for that. Pray that, um, obviously pray that just the cases would go down and that people's, you know, would be healed. That's something to be praying for as well. But also um, pray for our leadership, pray for our decision making uh, for our team. Uh, this is something that we are um, not stressed about, but this is something that we um, are kind of feeling like we're kind of hitting the end of the road, being that we can't really gather outside in, in the winter. Um, that's tough. And uh, we're hoping that our next in-person gathering is not a barrel fire outside in the street somewhere. You know, um, we would love to be inside. And we, we had a Christmas party kind of in the works and planning. But again, with cases spiking now, you know, not sure that's going to happen. So pray for planning, pray for wisdom, uh, pray that people would be wise and that, you know, we would all make smart decisions when it comes to this and that we would be healthy and look out for the well-being of other people. So, um that's, I think, really all I have. Uh, I wanted to try and keep it short and sweet, but I get wordy and here we are nearly 10 minutes in and that's what we're doing. So um, thank you for your prayers. Thank you for your support. Um, again, if you believe in what Andrea and I are doing here in Silver Spring and discipling these students and working with the student ministry, um, still working with Lanise and City of Protection and making sure that they have clothes, furniture, groceries, everything that they need to be um, thriving and successful here in Silver Spring, um, still doing work with them. So uh, if you believe in that work and what we're doing, uh, check out the Restore website, go to the Give tab, and then select Howard Fund and um, set your gift up for one time or, or recurring, however you'd like to do that. But um, obviously always looking to add people to our support team. And we're blessed to have each of you on our prayer team praying for us, lifting us up and lifting up our ministry. So um Praying for each of you, missing each of you. Uh, some of you may see over the, the next month and a half through the holiday seasons. I look forward to that. Uh, some of you may still may not see in a while. So um, I'll try to reach out with texts or phone calls, um, maybe set something up to, to see you guys do a video call or something. If 
if you want to see Quinn and meet Quinn uh, virtually, be happy to set something up. So um, love to each of you, grace and peace to each of you. Um, may God bless you today. Talk to you later.